but I'm gonna I'm gonna put that on its head for a second and say the two of you know each other I think uh, remarkably well considering how short a time you've actually known each other right and I would like you to go back in time to that young artist of the other and tell them one thing you think they do better than anyone else you know so that they get to take that idea and go further into their art so let that think in for a second right something you really admire about the other person that so you think yeah to paraphrase it we're, we're we're telling a younger version of the other person yes yeah, so you're going to talk to clark's uh, younger self and clark's going to talk to the younger colleague the reason why i say that is sometimes it's hard to talk about yourself right and i'm just curious what about the other have you really been uh affected by what do you want to remark on Da, 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 da. I can yes. go first. I think that there's this wonderful quality that I'm going to talk about Philip first for a second. Philip is a dear friend, and when I first met him at school, we didn't we didn't know how to speak. Like I didn't speak French very well, and he didn't speak English very well. And then so we had to meet through dance, and then gradually we got to to talk to each other. Um, and one of the qualities that we have almost like copyrighted is this idea of a, of soul power that when you look at because this this concept doesn't really belong to me it doesn't really belong to philip it kind of belongs i think to both of us and it's this idea of we were talking about choreography and performers one time and it's like a, a performer can be so beautifully technical and able to do many things, but they might not capture your attention unless they effervesce on stage in a particular way, right? Mm -hmm. They have a, a sparkle or a, a, a thing that is very difficult to actually name. So we call it soul power. And so one of the first times that I remember seeing Clark perform was, because I, I, I came and did some artistic consultation at CCDT. But the real time that I remember meeting you, Clark, was actually in a workshop performance of Social Growl. Mm, right, and right, right. You had, it was a showing at the end of an intensive and you were very, I can say this about you, you were very front and center in that piece, which is wonderful because obviously Clark went to work with that company afterwards as a professional. So this was like, they saw something in you too, right? But there's a soul power, there's a ferocity that's mm -hmm. also gentle and isn't always it, 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 like forward facing, it's also internal. So there's a kind of a, a quality of that slow burn that draws, draws people in. And this is why it's so fun to put you with partners like Mika and Alice um, and other partners you've danced with because it's really, it's always been really fun for me to see you face people and to turn that light on them on stage so that the audience can see that as well. So I don't know, I guess the lucky thing is I think I actually said that to a younger version of you after the show, we went to the pub and I remember being like, I'm blown away by wow. everything wow. that I just saw. And the, the luck was, that I kind of said, well, now we should work together. So, because I don't even know what the age difference is between Clark and I, but I think that it's something that I, I hardly ever think about, even though I know you're younger, because there is this um, highly sophisticated person, emotionally and intellectually. And I always, I, I love the fact that you can see that, you can see that intelligence when you're performing. Yeah. I, I just have to add one thing. I agree 100% with what you're saying. And, and from the very first time I was able to see uh, Clark's work, um, and I want to say, was it the fall? I think that might have been my first time seeing... Or Checkmate. You. It might have been Checkmate. I, the thing is, I remember her all in white. Right? But anyway... Well, that would be the fall. You, be you the were so compelling. Like... And, and I love that idea that uh, what you were saying about the light, because because it was like a flaming torch in this group of people who everyone was excellent in this production, by the way. And, and, uh, and yet there would be this ignition, whichever part of the room you were in, drew attention. So I find you so uh, amazingly compelling 
um, without being selfish and without being um, self-absorbed. And so I, I love what Colleen said because it is very much an illumination uh, of the art around you, within you, and sharing it with others, uh, meaning the other artists and the audience. And, and I thought that's very, that's very astute. Excellent, Colleen. All right, Clark, let's, let's see if we can get um, Colleen to cry. Wow. <laughs> Clark is like, oh you no. You guys are so nice to me. <laughs> and it's, it's very nice to hear that because I feel like without having cognitively realized that, especially the thing that you just said, Daniel, that is something that I, I care about too. Like, not, I don't want to steal it. I want to uplift the people around me. So it's nice, it's very nice to hear that. Thank you for your such kind words. This is a hard question because I, I feel I like- I only ask the hard questions to the people who are capable of answering them. I feel like in the like younger me meeting a younger Colleen, I remember the exact moment after that social growl show when we like went to the pub and then I was having a conversation with you and so excited because I you're so cool. And even I was like <laughs> obsessed and I still am every time we hang out. I'm like, I can't believe I get to be friends with you. <laughs> uh, I Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I like what advice I would have for a younger Colleen, I think because I have always seen you as a very like exciting, well-rounded, yeah, powerhouse of a creator and a performer and as like a human being in general. Yeah, I, yeah. That's not an answer to your question. That's but... okay. You know, the thing is, the thing that's interesting, if I may, about Colleen to me is uh, and actually, it actually reflects on you as well. I think this is the other reason why I thought of having the two of you on together. Um, you have this tremendous optimism in your approach to exploring ideas. I have never experienced, uh, in either case, uh, working with you. And, and of course, I've been able to uh, work with Colleen in, in, in lots of different areas where she was uh, a student versus a uh, uh, um, leader of, of, uh, as a creator. The thing that was really interesting to me is it didn't really matter if things were uh, not going to plan or if um, the perceived goal wasn't achieved. And what I mean by that is that I had never seen Colleen do what so many of us do, which is the self-abuse, right? And the, the sense of not deserving to be in the room. And I I think one of the reasons why the two of you work so well together and like each other so much is you really give space for the other, but more importantly, you infect others with a sense of optimism and a sense of, of realizing that we're going towards a, a, a good and not somehow having to justify, because that comes back to what I was talking about before when this whole question, when you were younger, often we feel like we have to uh, somehow prove we deserve to be in the room as artists, right? And I run that into that a lot when I'm working with, with people at the beginning of their careers. So I guess that was the question I wanted to sort of think. And it's totally cool if you don't have an answer because I kind of threw it at you at the last minute. So let me take that back then. And I'm just going to say, do you have anything, either a question or a statement, that you want to share that you feel is really important right now in this, in this age of COVID? I guess I can share first. Um, these, these are kind of, I guess, open-ended questions that I have been considering. Like uh, one, what is, what is the importance of a movement practice for me? I've been finding it difficult to dance or to do like abstract artistic dancing, but I have been like party dancing in my kitchen a lot um and i think cluing into like what aspects of movement are important for me as an artist but also me as a human being the healing power of like repetitive movement is something that i have really discovered and let myself fall into and also adjacent to that um with so much art and dance and theater being posted on online for free trying to reshape my brain when I'm interacting with these things, if I'm watching a full length dance piece online, instead of 
being sad that I can't see it in person, which obviously I am sad that I can't see it in person, but then yeah, reframing it to make use of, okay, I'm watching it on a video. I can pause it and walk away and come back, or I can rewind it and watch that again. I can watch the whole piece twice um, for some of the things that I've watched. Had I been able to see it in person, like, first of all, would it ever have come to Toronto? Um, but had I been there, I would have been like nosebleed back seat for the ticket that I would afford. But because it's filmed, I get to be this close to the performers and seeing what's happening. And so highlighting those aspects of being able to interact with things online instead of just being kind of sad about it <laughs> that's i offer i offer that <laughs> no that's awesome that's really awesome and, and i'm it's funny i i've been struggling with the idea of of what should be what should be live art uh viewed through a recorded medium and and how that makes me feel and i've always loved the the life that live theater dance music creates that's so different than obviously intended recorded and the and your comment about being able to watch it more than once from a different view is amazing that's a super interesting idea um colleen what do you think do you have uh, a covid uh, and and just to warn you your your mic is off yes okay. i think um i have a lot of thoughts one of the things that's been sticking with me a lot is the idea that the art, artist community is a, in many states, in many uh, circumstances, we are trying to respond to something that's ongoing. And the idea of responding simultaneously to something that is unfolding is a challenge mm -hmm. or can be a challenge depending on the individual. So the idea of um, those as being too separate but connected processes. So taking the time to, to feel and to be empathetic and to consider how the world is different is different fundamentally than having something to say about that. And I feel as though we are often prompted to tell everyone what this all means as an artist community because people have, in a way that I've never seen before, people have really been coming to the arts community and, and you see it in calls, like calls for the arts or, or arts councils being like, make a project, tell us what this all means and we'll give you a stipend, uh, make something, you know, go digital, pivot. And you're like, okay, I mean, we can and we will, and that's fine. But that's fundamentally different than just Sometimes when the when the that when I when I feel that turn towards artists, and I've never had a platform to say this before, but I've wanted to say sometimes there is nothing to say. We just have to encourage you to be in this moment, even though it's uncomfortable, because there is nothing else right now, and that's hard. Let it be hard for a bit, because it won't be hard forever. And that's the response is just in the being because we have each other and this is going to continue for a long time and the effects will be felt for a long time. So that anxiety, that deep down trembling, that thing that is now there inside it's the child of this time and it's going to it's going to be there for a little while so i think that that's a thing i wanted to share is this idea of you can just feel that and that can be enough whatever that is feel that being in the moment just trying to be in the moment rather than trying to explain to everyone what it means and like who we are now as a society and you know because i think that there are a lot of people who are immediately wanting to jump on to and i understand this because i feel this way too how will it be different will we have better social welfare systems social justice systems will capitalism finally sputter its last breath will we be able to move forward with airlines and will anybody ever ever want to go on a cruise ship again are we going to feel different in parks 
are we going to care about theater? Are we going to be able to focus when someone coughs in the movie theater next time we're there? Nobody knows the answer to these questions. So I'm getting a bit inflamed and passionate here, but I just, I'm just feeling this kind of, it's okay to not know the answer to that right now, even though it really doesn't feel okay. You know? If I could put voice to something, I'm, I, I've been thinking a lot about that. And, and, and I think it goes in, in, a, in a super form in what we're talking about. One of the things I think it means to be an adult, and off to that idea of, I need a more adult adult around us, right? Is it's really hard to admit the, um, that you don't know and that you're in the midst of change. We know that from childhood, that all childhood is, is changed as we, you know, go up. But we always had someone to look to, to explain things to us, what it, you know, be right or wrong, if they're right or wrong. I feel so uneven right now, or, or unsettled right now. And in fact, one of the reasons why I want to do what we're doing right, right now is to talk to people I care about, about the art that they love. So I'm going to bring this to a close because I know that Colleen, you have something to do, but I'd like to bring this back again in a little while and see what's new and what's changed. I want to tell you both how much I really care about you and your art. And I want to thank you from my heart for doing this. And so thanks so much. Any last words from you two? Just thank thanks. you. <laughs> thank you very much. Yeah, Stay. thank you for being a wonderful host. Stay healthy and you, you. <laughs> I promise we'll be working again soon. <laughs> Take care.